Hello everyone, I am Argama Witch, and today I'm going to be showing you um, how to take photos with your Vroid model or VRMs. Uh, I'm going to show you three different ways today. One of them is an actual Vroid, and two of them are outside Vroid, and all of them are free. Yay! <laughs> all right, anyways, um, so let's say you've just made a model uh, and you want to take a picture of it. All right, so I uh, recently made this new outfit. As you can see, I am wearing it here. I hope you like it. Ba 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 ba. Anyways, um, so we go over to camera exporter, right? And you can pose in here. And like, I know a lot of people know this. Like, it this isn't anything. I'm gonna scooch over just a smidgen so you can kind of see it in that corner. Um, but yeah, you can kind of just like pose your your model. They have like you know your standard poses here. Like if it's moving and you want it to stop, you can just click stop and it'll stop moving. Um, I usually go into pose mode. Um, and I might pick one of the defaults and uh, you know just adjust it slightly like how I want it like that um, and then I'll turn off the control points um, and this looks okay ish um, but what I recommend for people to do is uh, go into uh, post processing and then the top one the anti-aliasing and I put it on high uh, it kind of looks a little better and then when I go over here, I'll go to capture size. Um, and unfortunately it has like an auto size that's locked, but if you click any one of these, you can then suddenly adjust it. And I like to adjust it nice and big so I get a nice high quality picture. And it looks pretty good. Now, usually when I do mine, um, if I wanna like change the background, I can change the background to like a green or something. If I'm gonna like throw my key some shit out, uh, maybe even a blue. Um, I usually just do the window shift S in order to uh, just grab it and then I open up my art program which I have over over here and then I will just uh, end up putting it inside the like where I need it you know so if I'm making a thumbnail I'll just put it right in the thumbnail so that way I don't have to have extra stuff on my desktop um, but if you don't want to do that, you can just hit the capture down here at the bottom, like right down here. And it's going to pop up and let you pick where you want to save it. And you can just save it to your desktop as, you know, um, Argama, uh, stands. Yep. And now we should have that on our desktop. And I'm going to open it up real quick. Let's see. And I captured in mid blink. <laughs> Maybe we'll turn off the blinking. <laughs> we'll turn off the blinking. Stop blinking! Alright, and uh, there you have it. <laughs> um, and it should be a pretty decent like size. So yeah. Uh, that's one way to do it. I uh, pose it directly in here. Uh, you can only pose one character at a time, but it does have some interesting effects you can add into it. You know, like the whole like, comic stuff or whatever. Yeah. Now I'm a manga character. Yay! Alright, anyways. Uh, so that's that one. Um, uh, the other one I want to talk about is uh, V-World. Uh, which is right here. Bam! Bam! Um, you can download this off a of booth for free. And the interesting thing about this one is, is that you can kind of like make your own environment. Uh, it is in Japanese though. Like just make it daytime or something. Jesus. Holy shit. Alright. Um, so you might have to like figure out a little bit like what you're trying to do and put down, but but for the most part, you can kind of just throw down shit that, you know. And then and then you can just, like, adjust it. You know, move it and... Make it bigger and smaller. You know, like, uh... T will make it bigger and smaller. R will allow you to rotate it. And E will allow you to move it. Why? I don't know. I don't know. They also have this game mode where you can kind of like walk around. 
and this world you've created. Um, I, I used to recommend this one a lot because it's, um, I don't know, very much just a good way to set up an environment. Uh, and then there's also poses that you can select or um, I want to say in the capture, get, get out of here. Um, you can also have like other types of poses to do. I think there's a pose. Oh man, what are you doing? Oh yeah, then they have like little dances and stuff. Like they're just kind of cute, you know, and you just move your mouse around and doopy doopy doop. Um, and then you can just like, uh, you know, take take a photo with a uh, space bar, I think it is. Yep, space. And green to save. And it's going to be saved in your... Oh god, just, just allow the app. God damn it. Got it. Fucking firewall. <laughs> Um, and then you're going to go into like um, your uh, pictures, you know, like in documents, pictures, and then there will be one called V World. And then there's your picture. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. And it's cute. It's adorable. Yeah. Okay. Stop being so fucking cute, man. But this one's kind of fun to fun just to sort of play around with if you want like make a scene or an environment. Um All right, so we're going to we're going to close that one. <laughs> uh the last one I use is uh VRM doll play and this is the one I use most of all. Um and I can just drag and drop oop, let's uh move this over here. And I usually just drag and drop my model right in there and I'm going to do the same. Make it load. Oop. Um, and then you just kind of pose your model with how, however you want. Uh, this is the one I usually tend to do, um, because I can get, like, nice and big and up close, and I can adjust it. And you have, like, the, uh, the expressions over here, or you can go full, and then just adjust everything individually. Uh, and one of the things I like about this one in particular is that if I really wanted to, I could always add, um, like, other models in as well. And then I just, I can pose them together. Um, yeah, so, you, so mostly you're just going to kind of, like, fuck around with, like, how all of this is going to look. And you can, like, adjust the hands a little bit over down in the corner here, which I'm a little bit in the way, but yeah, right, right there. Um... And then if I don't want the uh, the markers, I just take the alpha and drop it down to zero over here. Um, you can also change the size of them if they're like overlapping too much, but usually just down to zero. And this uh, adjusts the light if you have lighting on, which for uh, that one I do. And you can move this around by selecting up here. Uh, this does not work for um, like the characters themselves. Like, you can't select this um, and try to, like, resize. Shit. I like, I can't then try to scale this. It's just not going to work. It's only for rotating. Um, I also take the uh, bottom part here. This bottom part. And then I'll just hit delete and get rid of it. Because I really don't want that. I'm just going to get that out of the way. And then I just adjust the uh, background color to whatever I want it to be. Uh, I, the photo thing doesn't seem to work too well for me. Like, it's it makes it sound like it made a photo, but... I don't know. I, I, I have trouble with it. It doesn't seem to, like, jive well. So what I usually do is, again, the uh, window shift. Uh, window shift s and then i'll just grab like what i want and then open it over in my art program and that way i can you know get a bunch of characters posed together if i really need to um 
But yeah, I like that program. It too is free. Uh, you can find them over on Booth. I'll try to leave a link for them down in the description below. This one was called, uh, was it Doll Play? Yep. And the other one was V World. So, yeah, these are kind of fun. Something you can, like, uh, take pictures of your characters with. Because I know people have asked, like, how do you take your, you know, pose your characters and stuff. And that's how I do it. There are other ways. There are things that cost money, but these are the ways I do it. Or that I would recommend, like, uh, trying out. Um... So if this video has helped you out or you like it, please give it a good old like and leave a comment because comments really help. If you have any questions, uh, I'll try my best to tr get back to them. And uh, uh, subscribe and shit because, you know, algorithm. <laughs> uh, and thank you guys so much. Uh, I will see you in my next uh, tutorial. All right. Bye.